Close your eyes and be aware of your breath. Watch it as it comes in, watch it as it goes out. Try to breathe in a way that feels good. Notice where the body is most sensitive to the breath. Focus your attention there. And if it feels good right there, maintain it. It'll tell you when the breath is too long or too short, so pay careful attention. This quality of paying careful attention while you practice is really important. Because it's not just a matter of how many breaths you can watch. It's the sensitivity that you bring to it, and the more attention you bring, the more sensitive you'll be to what's actually going on. Because as the Buddha taught, the causes of suffering in life come from inside. And it, they're creating suffering on greater and lesser levels all the time. And yet we're not, not sensitive to it. We take it for granted that this is the way things have to be. And so we just live with more and more suffering, more and more stress, because we're not paying careful attention. But if you pay careful attention, you begin to see that there are choices that, that are being made that can create less stress or more stress. So you go for the lesser ones, the ones that cause less stress, and then you get more and more sensitive to that. Even in the areas of lesser stress, there's greater and lesser stress, and so you keep pursuing this by being very, very sensitive by giving your full attention to this. It's only when you give full attention to your work that you learn from it. And this is how people develop skills in any area. You learn the skills of being a cook, you learn the skills of being a carpenter. It's because you pay careful attention to what you're doing. You don't just slam things together and say, I want people to praise what I've done, and leave it at that. You actually look at what you're doing, reflect on what you're doing, and ask yourself, could it be made better? Use your powers of observation, your powers of ingenuity. And that way, you become your own teacher. And that's the way it should be. After all, the Buddha is teaching you how to put an end to your suffering. Who knows your suffering better than you? And if you don't know your suffering, learn to learn to look. And when you look and you see what you're doing that's causing it, you can drop it. And your own powers of observation get more and more improved. This is how you learn from what you're doing. Because your own actions are the best teacher. They're teaching you lessons all the time, but for the most part we're insensitive to them. But if you pay careful attention, then you begin to see, you begin to learn. And that way you become more and more independent in the practice. You can be, learn how to depend on yourself to judge things well. So when something important happens in the meditation, you can know for yourself whether it's genuine or not. Because nobody else can come and look inside your mind. Even people who can read minds can't tell 100% for sure what's going on in your mind. So you have to look for yourself and train yourself to be a good observer by giving full attention to what you're doing right here, right now.